undergraduate, it, that's what math is, right? I mean, the problems that you solve are problems in the back of your calculus chapter, and you know there's an answer, and you can find that answer from your teacher, or from the answer key, or whatever it is. And and so, um, you know, a lot of students don't get uh, exposed to what math research is unless they do some sort of undergraduate research program. Um, but in, in math classes, you don't see a lot of that. But but what there are tons of open math questions out there, you know? It, it's not as scary as it seems. I mean, okay, so everybody's heard of Pythagorean theorem, right? You know, in a right triangle, the, the sums of the squares of the lengths of the two sides sum to the square of the hypotenuse. Well, I mean, yeah, some guy came up with that, right? And, and he proved that theorem. Where did he get the idea, you know, and all this? This, this is a very mysterious thing. But there are, there are little puzzles. There are tons of, of puzzles like that still today. Um, and some are long-standing open questions. Some are, you know, more questions that are generated more recently from other people's research and so on. And and it's not, I mean, you're not just out there blind, you know, looking for, for problems to solve. I mean, this is what you, this is what happens during the PhD. I mean, you learn how to, to find open problems in your area and you, and you learn techniques that, that, that solve those, those sorts of problems. So, I mean, I have a bank of questions that, that, um, I'm working on at any given time, and I know where to look online for, for recent publications and, 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 and open questions. And I also have a network of people that I can um, collaborate with. Science and math research is very different. I mean, I don't know much about research in the sciences, but I know they have labs and test tubes and animals and that sort of thing. So, I mean, you're, there's a lot of work to be done, you know, to, to build the experiment and, and collect data and what does math research look like? I mean, I could be doing math research if I'm sitting at a table with a paper and a pencil. I mean, the problems exist completely in my mind. I mean, I, I think about them constantly. I mean, the puzzles and things, that they're, they're all abstract notions. They don't, I mean, that's not how all mathematics is. Most abstract math looks like that, but, um, or pure math. But, you know, applied mathematicians regularly use computers and software to, to help them, um, you know, solve some of their problems. But yeah, it, 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 it's, it's much different. Um, uh, it's, it's really just, you know, mathematicians sitting around talking to each other and maybe a dry erase board or a chalkboard or some napkins and pencil, that's all you need. <laughs>